Today's custom PC is a great combination of hardware for a fairly decent price point. Underneath this Thermaltake Assassin 120X ARGB CPU cooler, there is a Intel Core i5-12400F CPU with 6 cores and 12 threads. To accompany that is this Gigabyte Aorus RTX 2080 Super graphics card with 8GB of GDDR6 memory. And it's all packed onto an ASUS ROG Strix B760-F gaming Wi-Fi motherboard. This is a fairly deluxe motherboard with lots of extra features, and I encourage you to check out the website if you're so interested. And there's 16 gigabytes of Teen Group DDR5 5600 MHz RAM. Just above the graphics card and below the CPU cooler is a slot for the NVMe solid state drive. And currently we have Windows 11 installed onto a Patriot P300 NVMe solid state drive with 512 gigabytes of capacity. In the hard drive caddy below, we have an additional Western Digital Blue one terabyte hard drive for extra storage. Powering it all is a Corsair RM750 750 watt modular power supply. Onto the PC case, this is a Lian Li Lang Cool 216, and I really like this case. There's lots of extra features that I really appreciate for good airflow and style and functionality. There's a nice mesh front for the two 160mm air intake fans. Back here for air exhaust, we have a 140mm case fan. Up top, there's more mesh that offers some passive air cooling in this case, but of course you could install a radiator if you had a water cooling setup. Now the case also has mesh down here under the power supply shroud, which leads me to think that the two fan mounts on top of the shroud could be pulling in cool air through this mesh which adds to the modular features of this case. The front I.O. features USB 3.0, USB Type-C microphone and headphone input, reset button, and power button. The rear I.O. of the motherboard features 7x USB 3.2, 1x USB Type-C, RJ45 Ethernet port, a BIOS flashback button, which is always handy. There's the connections for the Wi-Fi antenna. There's also an SPDIF out, and lots of audio in and out. There's also an HDMI and display port, which you can use if your CPU supports it. Unfortunately, this version of the i5 does not have integrated graphics. But as you can see on the back of the graphics card, we have 3x HDMI 2.0, 3x DisplayPort 1.4a, and a USB Type-C option. One extra feature of this case that I really like is this external fan mount. Unfortunately, unless your motherboard supports a graphics card position in the first PCIe lane, you won't be able to use this mount as intended with the holes that are fashioned into the case. There's just not enough room to put in a display cable. However, I did notice that there's an extra hole on the mount, which you can fasten into the case, maybe zip tie on this side. So that's what I did just to test out the thermals. With the slight modification, I currently have a 120 millimeter Noctua fan installed at the rear and it doesn't actually look all that different than how it was meant to be installed. I've been running MSI Combustor for about 18 minutes now. I think I'll give it a 30 minute test and it's been sitting at 71 degrees, oh, 72 degrees Celsius fairly consistently throughout this benchmark so if there's any significant difference we'll keep the fan installed. So I just removed the fan and put it to the side of the case. And we've been running for about a minute and 20 seconds. Right now we're sitting at 69 degrees Celsius, but of course that's sure to ramp up a little bit. Let's check in in half an hour. And we're sitting at 32 minutes and 45 seconds with no change in temperature. I think I'll leave it up to the end user on whether or not they want to install this fan. Depending on the situation, having an extra air exhaust fan is not a bad thing, especially if your computer is going to be on for a really long time. With the fan spinning on the graphics card, you're treated to quite the light show in the case, and that's all configured by using Gigabyte RGB Fusion software. And the colors of the CPU cooler and motherboard are controlled by ASUS AuraSync software. So now that we know a little bit about the hardware, let's check out the gaming and benchmark performance.